Friends, what is going on? Greg Newmaster coming at you again with another action figure review. Uh, today I have one of the greatest action figure play sets ever made in my opinion. And um, what I have here is the brand new Star Wars Vintage Collection Millennium Falcon Smugglers Run Edition. Um, I, I can't stress enough that if, number one, if you're a Star Wars fan, number two, if you're an action figures fan... Uh, this is by far the greatest action figure playset ever made. Uh, it's a vehicle, it's a playset, um, it's an action figure, and it's the Millennium Falcon. One of the most iconic starships ever created in sci-fi. Uh, this is based on the Star Wars uh, Legacy Edition Millennium Falcon, um, but I, like many other people, probably, I missed out on it when it originally came out. So I do have it, but I bought it secondhand on eBay, and I bought it piecemeal over the years. Um, so when I saw that they were going to release this version uh, through the Vintage Collection, and that they were going to release a better one, I, I had to jump on it uh, for a few reasons. One, the paint... Uh, they painted this one so much better, um, not so much better, but uh, with all these new uh, vintage collection re-releases they've been doing, the paint has just been phenomenal, and it's been a lot better, um, especially with that weathered look that they've been applying. Um, also, this one has way more sound effects, and not only, not only can you switch between the sound effects of the ride, at Disney World Disneyland but you can switch to the original trilogy sounds and this has way more sounds uh, on my original legacy version uh, that I think Han Solo speaks only one time uh, on this one there's like 10 to 15 different things that Han says uh, so I had to get it for that reason alone and just like the paint job and it just looks amazing uh, the accessories uh, so I'm gonna try and make this as quick as I can give you because there's tons of videos out there from uh pixel dan and uh bosk's bounty so let's let's take a look so uh here's the packaging uh, i'm doing this one-handed so please bear with me uh, i was kind of ticked off because um as you can see right here i thought it came with these accessories where they could store uh coaxium or spice or, or whatever you want to put and it didn't come with that so i was really annoyed so you get hondo you get the porgs you get chewy uh you get the additional um um what's it called the dish you get the additional uh satellite dish but um you don't get these storage um things for coaxium so i'm not going to show you the box really um, here's just like the logo, uh, Star Wars, Galaxy's Edge, Trading Outpost, transported from, which I think that's pretty cool. Um, there's the top of the box. Um, but like this thing is so big, uh, it's almost, um, maybe like two feet long. So, and, and I have two of them on my art desk here. So, so this is the Legacy version, and this is the Smuggler's, one edi Smuggler's Run edition. But uh, just so you can get a look here, so I got a camera light here, but if you can see the different weathering and the scoring, uh, it just looks amazing. And this is all over, like here's the cockpit and the canopy. Um, it's all over this baby. So it just looks fantastic like here's laser blasts and uh the original one had some of this on it but not so much and uh, for whatever reason it, it just keeps talking as i'm talking and that's the thing i don't like about it is you can't turn it off uh you can turn the original one off but you can't turn this one off but um so here's uh the legacy version so you see how there's no like weathering so this is the Legacy Cockpit, this is the Smuggler's Run Cockpit, um, just uh, just a lot different in terms of paint detail. Here's the, uh, this is the original version, the Legacy version, if you can see that, I'll try to move slower. And here is the brand new one. 
<laughs> but uh, since it is speaking, I'll, I'll show you guys the sound effects right now. So li like, listen to all these Han Solo sound effects you have. Hold on, it's Chewie. You're all clear, kid. So you get that one. Thing and go home. Great shot, kid. That was one in a million. Come on, come on. <laughs> I love that one. I love the angry Harrison Ford. She may not look like much, but she's got it where it counts, kid. Chewie, get us out of here! It's not wise, upset a Wookiee. Yeah, so all those great sound effects. Here's here's the smuggler's run. You can so here's that little switch here. This is the original trilogy side. This is the smuggler's run version. Um, so I'm gonna press some buttons here. Things are getting too hot. We've got to get out of here. Yeah, so that's Hondo from uh, Star Wars animated series um, Rebels. Can't remember if he was in Clone Wars. I think he was first briefly, but he was primarily in Star Wars Rebels, and I guess he. Runs the ride, but I didn't get to go to Galaxy's Edge. Uh, I tried to this summer, but because of the virus, we weren't able to. But what do you mean system failure? I guess he has his own droid too. Faulty hyperdrive. Well, that's not good. Those Tie Fighters must have followed us back to Batu. R five, access the emergency power supply. <laughs> Yeah, so that's that's just a taste wait, 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 of some friend. of the sound effects. I'm we have picked up a hitchhiker. All right, scan the exterior of the Falcon for light bulbs. Yeah, so. Yeah, so let's. Uh, I'll open it up for you so you can get a look. But um, yeah, you see the. I love that. You get the lights on the inside. It, it's pretty much like if you had the Legacy Edition. We're cleared for takeoff. R5, pre-flight diagnostics report. Yeah, okay, that's really annoying. <laughs> it just keeps going. But uh, if you had the legacy version, um, all the lights and the sounds are the same. So my point is, is if, if you missed out on this one, this is a great opportunity to get it. I got... Um, hey, 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 we are on a time okay, here. be Tomorrow, quiet. Yeah, so I pre-ordered mine from Target. I uh, got it for $427, which is a great deal because aftermarket, these things go for uh, like $1,000. Um, here's a missile launcher. That's what the missiles look like. There's, there's three here. Um, I just don't want to lose them right now while I'm doing this video. Uh, you have the gun effect. This is the same on the old one. Sorry makes that sound now if, if I actually there's a button right here and as I hit this button it, it, and it fires the missiles that's really loud too by the way it's very loud I may the other thing I don't like about it is um, you know because there isn't an off switch uh, the batteries and that's the battery compartment right here. So it's uh, three double A's and it's screwed in. So <laughs> it's not like I can take out the batteries, unlike the original one where you could um, just turn it off. So there's Hondo and Chewie, uh, the Chewie figure and the Hondo figure that came. Uh, lots of good articulation. Um, here is the dish. And if you if you get a good look at that dish and its weather, you also get the um, you get the original dish. I'm trying to just set this light somewhere. Just wanted to show you guys like the detail. Uh, sorry. So here is uh, here's the original dish, and here's um, here's the two dishes compared together. So look at how dark. That's a darker plastic. It, this one is weathered. This one is not. Um, so just great paint detail. Um, you also get uh, the feet. I'm not going to put those on for you right now. Uh, it comes with, I think, seven. And uh, you just put them on the bottom. Uh, you know, a reason why the original uh, Millennium Falcon was better is because the feet, like, tucked in on the figure. And I thought that was way better. Um... Let's see, so I'm going to pop this guy open. You got two panels that you take off and get a good look on the inside. And this is, this is way 
uh, it's just painted so much better. So here's a, this is the Smuggler's Run edition. Uh, we get this couch, this bench where the the chest table is or whatever it's called. I don't remember what the name is. Uh, you get the little guys. Uh, here's the original one. So this is not painted at all. On this new one, it's painted really beautifully. Uh, you get all the same stuff. You get the, the training ball that uh, Luke uses with Obi-Wan from the original trilogy. Uh, you get the little compartments. Uh, yeah, can't get this off. All right, so this comes off. I just, like I said, I'm doing this one-handed. Um, I can't get them off. Ah, there we go. So there's uh, compartments. You can store stuff in there. You can store figures in there. I thought you could store the little containers that uh, are pictured on the box but don't come with it, which is really annoying. Um, you get... Uh, I love this addition to uh, the uh, Legacy Falcon um, is you get... You get the escape pod, which is awesome. And uh, it's, a, it's the same exact one as the Vintage Collection Legacy. Uh, except my guns are really loose on mine, where on my original one they're not. So I don't like that. And um, you can fit one figure in there. And there's a good look on the inside. Um, but it's, it's just, this is just such an amazing... Um, vehicle like they did such a good job yeah, and that makes a sound effect when you open that hatch uh, this is this is another small detail but I always really love this is uh, if you look closely here there's a button and you get the uh, exit hatch right there ah, I love that and it slowly opens I suggest a new strategy where if you had and there's the, the chess board lights up as you can see I'll show you guys again but then this thing won't shut up I suggest a new strategy R2 yeah but look at that that's awesome so uh, you can't get in here uh, that's where the escape pod or the escape vehicle is I wish those doors open however these doors here open which are wonderful and there's just all this extra uh, storage space back there. Let me see if I can get a light on that for you. Yeah, so you can see back there and it's uh, There's like a whole nother compartment back there uh, That reminds me of the space in uh, Solo where Lando has the Falcon and that's where he keeps all of his capes But um, you know, that's a good place where you can put all the feet um, For the bottom of the Falcon Um yeah, it's just an amazing, amazing vehicle. And like I said, if you missed out on it the, the first time, you don't want to miss out on it this time, especially when the price is still low. Because like I said, this thing's so popular, uh, it, it shoots up to like $1,000 on the aftermarket. So highly recommend, if you can, to pick it up. Um, let me show you the bottom. So there's the bottom, and as you can see, it's weathered too, um, which they did not do on the Legacy. Uh, you get the additional gun on um, this part right here. That's where you would plug in some of the feet. Um, all right, Chewie, be quiet. And... That wise, I've said a Wookiee. I suggest a new strategy, R2. I'll Let show... Yeah, see, that's going to be a pain in the butt if that thing never shuts up and it just, like, talks on its own. Like, it's reacting to the sounds that I'm making. So, here's, here's the afterburn. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, I'm probably going to hang this from my ceiling on my office here. But that just looks fantastic. So, and like I said, so if, if you missed out on the original, um, pick this one up while it's still there. Um, comes with the Porgs, so uh, here are the Porgs. I didn't even take them out of the package. I don't even know if I will really care about them that much. Uh, it also comes with the chess pieces. Um, I don't want to lose them. 
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, so as you guys can see, mine is malfunctioning. So I'm going to take the batteries out because that's really annoying. But um, yeah, it comes with the chest pieces. Uh, here's a little bag for you. Wait, 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 my friends. I'm afraid we have picked up a hitchhiker. Yeah. All right. Scan the exterior of the Falcon for light bulbs. Yeah, so it just keeps reacting to my voice. So, uh, so anyhow, guys, um, yeah. I suggest a new strategy, Here's here's all the feet that it comes with. Just won't stop yapping. It's not wise, I'm sort of walking. I yeah. suggest a new strategy, Artu. So I'm, I'm gonna have to take it apart and uh, take the batteries out and see if that resets it because it's driving me crazy right now. I'm trying to make this video, but um. Like I said, you can store, you can store all this stuff, like, you know, I'm never going to put these feet on. Um, I, I really wish that they would just um, be a part of the vehicle, but um, you can store them in that little compartment back there, which is really cool. So anyhow, yeah, pick this up, uh, Star Wars Millennium Falcon Smugglers Run. Uh, got mine at Target, 427 bucks. Don't want to miss out on it. I pre-ordered this a while ago uh, while I was still making some good money. So uh, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. God bless you all. Peace.